Section 220, the Affinity uh, Designer Workbook being used on the iPad. I'm only repeating this in case you come onto this um, without having seen the other ones. This is page 110 and 111. Now, unfortunately for this section, uh, they're talking about global colours. And if it's hidden in there somewhere, well, it's hidden well, because I can't find it. The book and the desktop version allows you to set your own global colours. You can add a global colour, registration colour, application document and system palettes. But on the iPad, it doesn't appear to be possible. But what you can do in this section is add noise, colour with noise. Now you can see I've got the previously from um, item 219, I've got the previously selected inner circle with some gradients um, placed in there. Now all this is, is simply adding noise to that. Noise, you remember from your photography work, um, is something you're trying to get rid of. But in here, you can add noise, and you'll see it. There's a slider bar uh, just up from the bottom a little bit, just there. You can see that. Now let's drag that to the right, and you can see it increases the noise in the colored circle in the center. So you can create all sorts of nice patterns if you've got um, a stressed or distressed pattern that you want to emphasize, old buildings, um, night scenes, things like that. Adding noise to it can be very effective and all the way to the left and it's simply a matter of using that slider. But that's all there is to that section. 2.20, color with noise. Quite simple. Whatever you've selected, that's it for 220.